Good morning. Reading in Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 27, the eternal God is thy refuge. The word refuge may be translated mansion or abiding place, which gives the thought that God is our abode, our home. There is a fullness and sweetness in the metaphor, for dear to our hearts is our home, although it be the humblest cottage or the scantiest garret. And dearer far is our blessed God in whom we live and move and have our being. It is at home that we feel safe. We shut the world out and dwell in quiet security. So when we are with our God, we fear no evil. He is our shelter, our retreat, our abiding refuge. At home we take our rest. It is there we find repose after the fatigue and toil of the day. And so our hearts find rest in God. When wearied with life's conflict, we turn to Him, and our soul dwells at ease. At home also we let our hearts loose. We are not afraid of being misunderstood, nor of our words being misconstrued. So when we are with God, we can commune freely with Him, laying open all our hidden desires. For if the secret of the Lord is with them that fear Him, the secrets of them that fear him ought to be and must be with their Lord. Home, too, is the place of our truest and purest happiness. It is in God that our hearts find their deepest delight. We have joy in him which far surpasses all other joy. It is also for home that we work and labor. The thought of it gives strength to bear the daily burden and quickens the fingers to perform the task. And in this sense, we may also say that God is our home. Love to him strengthens us. We think of him in the person of his dear son, and a glimpse of the suffering face of the Redeemer constrains us to labor in his cause. We feel that we must work, for we have brethren yet to be saved, and we have our Father's heart to make glad by bringing home his wandering sons. We would fill with holy mirth the sacred family among whom we dwell. Happy are those who have thus the God of Jacob for their refuge.